Mariam Juanita. And I am Ina. And together we form Conectados para un futuro brillante. We need Connected for a brighter future. Let us tell you a story. Frank's family, as several millions in Mexico, lives in poverty. His dad was an alcoholic and his mom worked really hard to keep his family together. Juan has a brother and a sister, all three attended to public school. When Juan reached high school, he kept thinking about how to get out of his situation. He left home to live with his grandma, but he never stopped studying. He was a smart kid, but unfortunately, he didn't have much to study himself. He managed to get into college and was able to graduate just as a psychologist. Today, he has a master's degree. He is a teacher and he helps his students to enjoy learning. His brother, on the other hand, was not so lucky. He dropped out of school, joined gangs, started to do drugs, and today he suffered motor problems due to the damage they caused. According to UNESCO, dropout in the percentage of students who stop studying and they do not enroll again the following year. According to Secretary of Education Pública, during 2021 to 2022, school dropout for high school increased about 12.6%. The main reasons why school dropout happens are economics, teenage pregnancies, problems at home, were requested by parents, lack of, lack of motivation, lack of interest in learning, or lack of vision of a brighter future. The main issue is that once a person drops out of school, it reduces their chances of better employment opportunities. It makes the person more vulnerable in front of others, etc. Our proposal seeks to support MDG number four, quality education, which is also impacts a goal like MDG number 10, reduce inequalities, number five, gender equality, and number one, no poverty. There are many organizations that support this problem and through their webs, they make their services available for everyone. But there is so much information on the internet that browsing and looking for a solution can become overwhelming. That is why, in this early stage of development, our mobile app intends to provide relevant and organized information for each student depending on their condition, connecting them with public and private orga organizations that can support them with scholarships, living and expenses, online, on the alternatives, etc. In our MVP, we are just considering economical matters, pregnancy, and working instead of studying, as examples of how to address each problem. However, we are thinking to have some other problems in the future, such as lack of motivation and other their futures, such as mentors and coaches. We found apps that provide support to reinforce knowledge, to train teachers, etc. However, we didn't find any app that seeks to provide useful information in this way. We believe that our app may be the best option for those students who are looking for our twin of it, but do not know how to find them. Our idea born for two reasons. We met Juan, he told us that if we had known about scholarships, alternatives, and access for health, his path would have been easier, faster, and under better conditions. And for sure, his brother would have had a better future. We had access to Proyecto Tuk ASE, which is a non-profit civil association dedicated to find children at risk of dropping out of school. And as a support for our research, we ran a survey with the participation of people dedicated to education, people who have worked on trying to solve this problem, and people who stop studying or who are thinking to drop out of school. They all think this app would be a great tool for students, and the main recommendations we got there were basically to sensitize parents, and as well as a mentor that might coach them and get a public and private organization supporting and advertising our app. We really think our app can make a difference. So let's get connected for a brighter future.